So many people are mining with nice hash nowadays, but do you really know if you have the latest version miner that you're mining with? So today I'm going to show you um, how to update your miner versions to the latest versions. So I'm going to open nice hash here. It's not necessarily going to be the latest version from the program itself. So if you tell nice hash, update the miner, it's not necessarily going to be on the latest version, so you can manually do it yourself in a quick and easy way. So just open NiceHash, go to Plugins, and here you've got all the miners. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be focusing on Excavator, which is the one I mainly use for Dega Hashimoto at the moment. And uh, just click the three dots here. So it's saying installed, but I know for sure that there's an update. So if I just quickly start mining at the moment, go to dashboard and start mining. If I bring up excavator here, it's using version 1.6.3 G. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop this. And I know for sure that there's a latest version because on GitHub, there's 1.6.7 C. And that's um, quite a, a few versions ahead. So I'm gonna go to plugins. I'm going to go to excavator on the three dots. Here it just gives you the folder, which is going to be 15.9, but that doesn't mean that that's the version. That's just where it's uh, located in the folder 15.9. When you click the three dots, click show internals, and this will bring you to the minor plugin folder straight away for excavator. Go to bins, 15.9, as we mentioned before, and here we have the miner. So this is 1.6.3G as we just saw, and I'm gonna update it to 1.6.7C. So basically just download the miner, which I have already on my desktop, open the zip file. Now here's the latest version that's out right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this version because I like to keep the old version. And first of all, I'm going to stop this because it's still mining. So make sure it's not in use. Otherwise the file would be locked. I'm gonna rename excavator 1.6.3G. So if I want to roll back to it, I just can rename it back to excavator. And I'm going to extract this over here. And that's the latest version. We can close WinZip down. And now, when I open NiceHash, and I start mining, there you go, 1.6.7c. That's a quick and easy way to update the miner, and this applies to all of the miners. So if I were to do, for example, Phoenix miner, it's the same principle, show internals, bins, to the latest 15.7, always matching here, as you can see, 15.7, and just place the new miner in there. I'm on the latest already, so that's already updated. And you can just replace uh, the miner in there. So that's it. I hope you found this useful because many people did not know that um, you can actually manually update a miner to the latest version because NiceHash themselves won't necessarily provide the update um, from the application itself. And there you go, mining away. I'm currently streaming on the uh, RTX 3060, so I'm, I'm screen capturing, so the hash rate is going to be a bit... Uh, lower than it usually is. Normally it's up to around 48, 49. And that's my RTX 3080 there at 104.2. If you haven't checked out those videos, check them out from the link in the description below. Uh, great hash rates, in my opinion. So um, pretty cool. I hope you found this useful. Please give me a subscribe and hit that notification bell for more. Until next time, take care of yourself and thanks for watching.